Mr. Monica, based on your comments tonight regarding the current administrative salary schedule for the school committee, um, which you've attended a lot of the hearings for, you said that it basically gives to give administrators races is the intent behind it. But as you know, currently the system is structured so that administrators receive raises automatically every year, whereas the new system would make it dependent upon a performance evaluation. So are you supportive of a system that gives raises on a performance evaluation or just automatically? Because it seems by your you comment. Know, the, I hate to say it, but the principals and so forth, you had something worked out where they got paid X amount of dollars on a, on a percentage based on the highest paid uh, teacher in the system. Uh, I should say the highest grade. Now you guys want to change it to make sure because their contracts are coming up for renewal where you, you know, they, they want more money. Well, the teachers want more money too, okay? But you guys are talking, I mean, I have your sheets right here of everything of uh, the pay scale, the, the middle, the, the max, the range, what we're talking about here. And Dr. Morell has made this presentation to you that the administrators have all come to the meetings, you know, and I feel for them because they all, you know, don't, aren't going to have contracts pretty soon once they expire. And they'll be back at an issue where their contracts, if they got a pay raise, was built into what they, what we got voted on a few years ago. Now, <clears throat> you guys are talking about giving them five to six percent pay raises if they get a number three rating. A three to four percent pay raise if they get a two rating. A zero percent if they get a one rating, and a zero if they get a zero rating, based on the, on the information you handed out. I mean, I can't justify giving Dr. Merrill a five to six five to six percent pay raise if if you get if she you know gets a good good evaluation from you guys. I can't see it if Mr. Rotella gets it. Or that why why would we give the business manager a pay raise here, five, six percent, if, if his uh, evaluation re evaluation comes back outstanding. They don't do, deal in the classrooms. They don't do anything in the classrooms. It, it's this principle over here that deserves the pay raise and the teachers that deserve the pay raise if we're going to give them out. Just because we have money doesn't mean we should go ahead and now and start raising. We're the lowest in the state and now we want to bring them up to the middle or average in the state. Well, the teachers aren't average either. So, I mean, I, first of all, I, I don't use the form for me to debate you on the subject, and I think we can do that at a school committee meeting, but I just still don't get the clear answer for my question. Do you support a system that pays administrators, all administrators, including principals, because they're included in that plan, which made it seem like they weren't, do you support that being performance-based or automatic? And I didn't see that I get that, that answer. A, it should be automatic like the teachers get. So you don't believe in any performance? No, I, and, 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 and there should be some type of, of performance that te the administrators talked about the last time. If they meet their goals, then there should be something performance-based in there as well, okay? But why, are we, why do we want to shift away from what the teachers got to now change it because we want to make sure the administrators get taken care of? The teachers are our frontline people. The administrators and the principals, the vice principals, are our frontline people, the central administrators, huh? You can't tell me Mr. Rotella deserves a pay raise. You can't tell me Mrs. Connie deserves a pay raise, or Dr. Morell right now needs a pay raise. Mr. Priano doesn't need a pay raise. The man bought stolen computers. I mean, but he's still employed by us. This is what we got up at. This, this is the system we got. Central administrators buying stolen computers. Come on now. They, and they weren't terminated. Would anyone else have to weigh in on this issue? Yeah. No, I'm I have an issue with um, performance base because, for one reason, depending on who does the evaluation and how it is done. I can remember, because we have gone around this mulberry bush for a long time in Cumberland, unbeknownst to a lot of people. Um, because at one point, when I first became an administrator, it was automatic. Then we tried this other thing where we had to submit goals, blah, 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 blah. And, and I remember one particular year, it was Mr. Marisol and myself. I was a principal. Mr. Marisol was my assistant principal. 
and we didn't get as much of a raise as the North Cumberland Middle School principals did because they, the school committee, decided that they saw them more often because all of their um, suspensions were appealed to the school committee and they did such a wonderful job at the school committee level in their appeal process. So Jerry and I looked at each other and said, wait a minute, we did a wonderful job in terms of, we explained what the school, the, the situation was we, to the parent, the parent understood it, the child understood it, so no one appealed it, but because they didn't do it that way, they got the raise, you see? So there's a lot of situations that, to me, really needs to be addressed. And also, you know, if you have a personal conflict with someone, that's not a good thing either. So, I mean, you know, th so that's the reason why I'm like, aha, uh -huh, yeah. Um, I would definitely support performance-based uh, raises. I also am not necessarily against paying the leadership more money. In fact, in some ways, I think that it is essential that we start paying the leadership more money because to me, and although I would argue that the leadership right now in the Cumberland school system is not where it needs to be, in order for us to get it where it needs to be, I think, and in order to attract talent, I think that we need to consider um, raising the bar in terms of salary. Um, so no, I would not be in favor of the automatic as discussed. I would certainly be in favor of the performance-based um, compensation. And I also have a problem with, with this idea of them meeting their goals and then getting you know, 2,000 for this goal and 2,000 for that goal. I think that you either meet your goals for your job or you don't. And you get your salary for that job or you don't really keep your job. But this idea that you're going to get extra money because you somehow met these strange goals that the person earning the money wrote for themselves and then a committee approved does not seem to me to be in the best interest of the students, for sure, the taxpayers, or the voters. Thank you. So I'll piggyback on what both Joyce and Erica said. And Joyce had talked about the disparity surrounding performance uh, for, for their salaries and that it was really at a whim. And I think that's something we absolutely found on the school committee early on when I started about four years ago that it was at a whim and it was completely inappropriate for administrators to be evaluated based on a budget or based on um, the mood or based on what was in the, the headlines that week. It really had to be fair and we felt that as part of this process that we've gone through is to establish a sense of fairness, first of all. So it was a level playing field, which is why I think you saw that the, their compensation was identical regardless of their responsibilities or res regardless of their achievement. And then secondly, to per have a, a performance-based opportunity would allow administrators the chance to grow, to be, is it two minutes, Karen? I'm sorry. To grow, to improve, or if they're not, to not be compensated for the fact that they haven't improved. So I, I would support uh, a performance-based system. Um, Erica also talked about um, rewarding people with uh, bonuses. That is absolutely a legacy piece that has been in contracts for the superintendent and it predates me. And uh, it predates, I think it's been around for a significant amount of time because they felt that they couldn't compensate their superintendent at that time, pre-Dr. Pre Morell, because they didn't have the salary to support it. And, and, and I, I think, I'll, I'll speak for myself, it was a foolish piece of, of information for us to try and wedge in there. Um, we need a better tool to evaluate our superintendents. I've said it recently, you know, we don't have a good performance measure. Now that RIDE has some available, I think we can work to build a better one. Thank you.